So guys, are you ready for a little mic on mic action? So we just came out of uh, Geeks and Musical. Uh, so what did you think of it? I thought it was awesome. Terrific. Very original and hilarious. We loved it. We loved the chorus as well. All the background actors were hilarious. I Two fingers up. <laughs> and if you had to categorize self only in one fandom, what would it be? Oh, that's really, really hard. But I guess I'd have to stay true to Star Wars. I, I like this girl. I like this girl. Wow. Uh, just, well, I guess, uh, what, Star Wars. Yeah, that happened. Good choice, good choice. And um, have you guys been to Comic-Con before? No, I haven't, no. No, I haven't. That my own video games. I have not, but I would like to. Are you going to try to go this year? Um, not this year. <laughs> Waiting for some friends. Waiting for some friends? All right, all right. Actually, I have not. No. I haven't. Hmm. Are you going to try to come to go this year? I, yeah, I would love to. I've tried to go in the past, and it's either been sold out or too late. Yeah, definitely, though. So, we just came out of uh, Geeks and Musical. Very awesome. And I'm here with... Tom J. Mizoraka. I am the author of the book and the lyrics. So, how did this uh, idea originally came about? Um, you know, I actually, for some reason, just got in my head to write a parody song uh, that listed the people who played Doctor Who. And um, I actually did it to the, the melody of a few of my favorite things and thought it was really cool. And that was it. I said, oh, it's a cool little parody song. But I really liked it. And I said, I need to do something around for this. So I started building maybe a 10-minute play around it. And the next thing I knew, I had an entire full-length musical comedy about a Comic-Con and had to change the rhyme scheme of uh, the Doctor Who thing so I didn't get sued. I'm Jonathan Brett. I play Jordan in Geeks the Musical. It was a, a blast. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. I'm a Leo. I like long walks on the beach. And uh, No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm a, a avid Yu-Gi-Oh fan, actually. I've been playing the trading card game for 11 years now. So uh, I'm a geek. Okay. <laughs> Self-proclaimed. Um, well, uh, truth be told, I'm, I'm a nerd. I play a lot of video games. I work my job and do theater and play a lot of video games, I mean. Sure, my name is Juliet Anjali and I play Audrina in Geeks the Musical. She's kind of a tortured soul, she's a goth girl, she's a writer, she's a poet, and she's also desperately in love with her best friend who she can't really accept as gay. <laughs> and so she has a lot of things going on, a lot of drama. Uh, about me, I've actually been an actor for quite a number of years and like to do a lot of different diverse things, but it's actually kind of fun in this to get to play the bad guy because I'm usually a good guy, uh, the educated, nice guy, doctor, lawyer, that sort of thing. Well, actually it came about from uh, Tom Mizraka, the playwright, and uh, in uh, 2009 um, he uh, came to me and said that he had written something, a musical, and uh, was interested in whether I'd like to direct it. And I said that I would, and so we have um, worked on this since 2009. So, have you been to Comic Con before? Oh yes, I've uh, I've been a regular Comic Con attendee for I'd say going on 10 years now. Uh, it was actually also a childhood dream come true. I remember reading in the back of my Fantastic Four comic books about this big Comic Con in San Diego, and I just always dreamed of getting there. And now, not only have I been there, but I go on a regular basis and go from preview night all the way through Sunday. I have not, actually, but it, it is something that I've wanted to do, and especially after this, the show, it's, uh, it's on your bucket list? It's on my bucket list, yeah. Exactly. If you had to categorize yourself only in one fandom, only one, mind you, what would it be? How narrow are we getting? Like, are you saying... Like, are you a, if you only choose one, like, are you only a Star Wars fan, only a Doctor Who fan, or only a Star Trek fan, which would it be? This may not be exactly in the categories you're looking for, but I would say Monty Python because I grew up on a steady diet of that, and The Holy Grail is my favorite movie of all time. Classic, classic. Ooh, that that is tough. Um, 
I, I, I would like to answer that question, but I, I have to say first that I think because I, I like a little bit of everything, that's what allowed me to write a musical that hits everything. I mean, we hit the Harry Potter fans, the Doctor Who fans, the comic book fans. Uh, but I would say my biggest obsession is a cross between either the Fantastic Four or Batman. So if we have to narrow it down, I'd say comic books, but uh, definitely Fantastic Four and Batman are my two favorite. Well, I... I I don't know. I have a number of, of favorite things, but I think it would probably be in, in Superman. Okay. You know, I happen to like Mr. Magoo. Okay. For this role, did you do any uh, research into the various fandoms that you will be, uh, you know, playing? I mean, I, I've always been a fan of Batman, the different incarnations, you know, of, of the different movies and everything like that, you know. And since he's a hardcore Batman fan, I had to go and watch all of them. Everyone, everyone, everyone. And it was nice to get a refresher course on that. Um, I've been to Comic-Con a few times, so I had that experience. And yeah, I mean, it kind of... How much do you research when it's you? Pretty much, pretty much. You know? <laughs> um, you know, not a lot, because I already enjoy a lot of the fandoms that are portrayed. Um, for example, I'm pretty familiar with the goth spooky world, um... That's kind of one of my crowds. Also, I've sung in a couple of goth bands, and so I really didn't have to look any of that up. What I did have to look into was Doctor Who, because my character loves Doctor Who, and that wasn't one that I was really familiar with. Okay. This is the question of the night. Are you ready for a question of the night, sir? Uh oh I think so. You think so? Are you ready? Really? Truly? I'm, I'm certainly ready. Star Trek or Star Wars? Star Trek. No question, Star Trek. I, especially now. Yeah, yeah, true, the revive, uh, you know, hey, yeah. some things get revived and they are not so great. Some things get revived and they're terrific. And I think the new incarnation of Star Trek has been absolutely, it was phenomenal. Ah, uh, again, still very hard. Kirk or Picard, but it's got to stick with Star Wars. High five. High five. Yeah. Star Wars, yeah. hands down. I don't know. It's really hard to top Star Wars, you know? With everything that's happened and. You know, all of the incarnations of those movies and how a story that is it, such a gigantic phenomenon, you know, with only like six movies, right? So, I don't know, I gotta say Star Wars, but it's. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Star Wars. It's, it's close, but I gotta say Star Wars. I'm sorry. Good choice. Good choice. I think I would go with Star Wars. Good man, good man. I like him. <laughs> Star Wars. My, I like it. my favorite character in Star Wars is Salacious Crumb, and I want to be him for Halloween, but I don't have the latex molding skills for it. Have to go with Star Trek. Have to go with Star Wars. What? Because <laughs> it's got a parody, space balls. What? So when it's a parody, it's up there. But some episodes of Star Trek were nearing parody of Star Trek, right? That's not even a question. Star Wars will always rule. Good girl. 